Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Abdurrahman Asif and today me and my team will be explaining our project which is, which is Smart Water Level Controller. This project is made by the students of Mechatronics Department of UET Lahore. Today I will be explaining the main components, the main components used in the project and the circuit diagram, the program flowchart and other things used in the project. First of all, the, this project is a automatic water level controller, which is designed for use in industry or to be used in our homes. The component, the main components used in this project uh, is the TYC series launch pad, which is an, which is an microcontroller by Texas Instruments. The second component, which is the most important component used in this project is the ultrasonic sensor module, which is the H HCSR04. To display our le current level and the target level of water, we, we have used a six, uh, 1602 LCD display. A two-channel relay module is also used to control the 12-volt DC pumps. A LM7805 voltage regulator is also used to uh, provide 5-volt voltage to the components. Transistor, potentiometer, buzzer, and LED are also used. Let's see what these components are used in the project, why these components are used in the project. This, the TYC series uh, launch pad is a microprocessor, it's a microcontroller uh, produced by the Texas Instruments. This microcontroller is targeted for industrial applications, including remote, remote monitoring, electronic point of sale machines and other things. This microcontroller consists of a, a Cortex M4 microprocessor. It has different peripherals, which are including the ADC and other, and other peripherals. The uh, Tiva C series launch pad has a uh, on board RGB LED and two push buttons, which are on board. This is the main backbone of our project as this microcontroller takes in the input uh, provided by different components, analyzes them according to the code loaded in it and provides us with the output we require. The second most important component in this project is the ultrasonic sensor module. This sensor module emits an ultrasonic ultrasound waves at the at 40 kilohertz. The ultrasonic waves are a type of sound waves which are emitted by this module at 40 kilohertz. The working of this module, uh, the main how we have used this module is that once the module emits ultrasound waves. When the waves hit an object or an obstacle, they reflect back. The time you are taken by the waves from emit emission to uh, absorption back is used to calculate the distance between the module and the object obstacle. In, in our case, the obstacle is the water level. Now how the working of this ultrasonic ultrasound module is that in the start, the trigger there are actually there are, as you can see, there are two main components on the module. One, one of them is the trigger, the transmitter, and the second one is the receiver. When we start using this module, it gives out a 10, uh, pulse of for 10 microseconds. After the pulse is given out for 10 microseconds, 840 kilohertz, kilohertz pulses are transmitted. Now the width proportion, uh, the width of proportional to the measured distance is reverted back to the echo, which provides the output out of the module, which is the input of the Tiva C series launch pad. To display our results, we use 1602 LCD display, which has two rows. 
which has two rows and dis displays the current level and the target level. Uh, to control the motors, we have used two channel relay motor as a uh, two channel relay module as we have two motors. So we use two channel relay module. The require, why we require a relay is because the motors work at 12 volt DC, whereas the Tiva C series launch pad gives us an output of mere 3.3 volts. So to use the motors, we require a 12 volt and thus we use a relay. A relay acts as a electronic switch. When output is given out of the microprocessor to turn on the motors, the relay uses its internal circuitry to provide, uh, to open uh, close the switch off for the motors and provide them with 12 volt DC. The relay needs five volts to operate and has a single changeover switch that can switch 10 amps AC at 250 volts. The board has two LEDs, one to show power is connected and, and the other to show that the relay has been activated. There are only three pins the ground, VCC, and a control pin. The control pin connects the digital input output of the Tiva C series launch pad. The very important uh, component of our project is the 12 volt DC pump, which has the following specifications. The power of the pump is eight watts and it runs at 12 volt DC. The maximum height to which the pump can pump the water is five meters, whereas the water flow is 10 liters per minute. Uh, we have also used LM3805 voltage regulator to provide a stable five volt uh, voltage to our components, such as the relay and the potentiometer and the LCD. The LM3805 voltage regulator provides an output current up to 1.5 ampere, and it can provide fixed voltages of 5 volt, 12 volt, and 15 volt. We have also used a trans transistor, which is an NPN transistor, which is a type of which is a type of bipolar transistors with three layers that are used for signal amplification. This Transistor is mainly used uh, in a buffer circuit uh, for the LCD display. We have also incorporated a buzzer, which will provide which will provide us with signals whenever the water is overflowing or the water level is too low in the tank. This is the data, data sheet for the ultrasonic sensor module at CSR04. This is the NPN transistor data sheet, whereas this is the Tiva C series pinout, which can be used in case there is any confusion in the pinout. Now, this is our circuit diagram, which I would like to explain. You can, uh, as we can see here, that the main component here is a Tiva launch pad. The inputs from the sonar sensor or the keypad or oh, the keypad here is used to, to provide the levels, which may be level one, two, three, four, five. We have 10 levels, which can be set by the user. Now there are, uh, there are two kinds of out input in the, in this system. One is the sonar sensor and one is the 4x4 keypad. Now there are a number of outputs which are the LCD, which is used to display uh, the current level and the target level, the buzzer, which is used as a alarming buzz, alarming system. Then there is the, uh, an output that is given to the relay, the relay, which is used to operate our both pump, which and we have two pump, pump one and pump two. Then, then there are the LM at 7805 voltage regulator and the potentiometer, which are mainly used in the buffer circuit for LCD. Yeah, now here is the main C, uh, C language program for our project. 
as you can see that we have a trigger pin and echo pin which are used for the ultrasound sound module the tank motor and the reservoir motor variables are used to turn on and control both the motors the alarm pin variable is used to uh, work the alarming system these two variables keypad column and keypad row are used for working the keypad we have a single one function which has this declaration which uh, with the name of check keypad there are different variables one is the duration and distance the duration is the time taken for the ultrasound waves to uh, from being emitted to being reverted back and absorbed by the echo module the distance is what we can calculate using the formula listed above the current distance is the distance at any set time from the module to the water level surface the target distance which here is set to 30 but can be changed by the user is the target distance set by the user and set by the user now the level is the level set by the user which in name is one two three four till nine the c level is the current level which is calculated after every second now in the void setup function we actually uh, we actually set uh, all the trigger pin echo pin uh, the trigger pin is uh, set as an output and the echo pin is set as an input the tank motor and the reservoir motor both as we have discussed are the output so they are set as output the alarm pin is also an output here in this loop, the keypad is being initialized. Now the main program of this C language program is uh, the void loop. First of all, we check for any input through the function check keypad, which will be discussed below. We have created a variable a start, which has to be pressed for the whole circuit to begin. First of all, we clear the trigger pin and then we set the trigger pin on high state for 10 microseconds. Then we make it low and here we read the sound wave travel time in microsecond and show the duration. Through this uh, formula, we calculate the distance. Now, if the current distance is less than the target distance, which mean, which essentially means that the target distance is below the current water level. So we need to reduce the water level. And for that, the tank motor is turned on so that the water is removed from the tank and is transported to the reservoir. If the current distance is greater than the target distance, which essentially means that the water level is below the set level, the reservoir motor turns on, which means that the water is sent from the reservoir through pipes to the tank so that the water level is maintained. If both of these conditions are not true, both the mot motors are turned off and the current distance is equal to the target distance. Now this uh, condition here provides us with the condition when there is no water in the tank, which means, the, uh, sorry, this is the overflow condition, which means uh, that the water level is too high and the distance between the module and the current distance is less than four and the alarm pin is turned on. Now these all conditions actually set, convert the current distance to the preset levels. If the distance, current distance from the module to the water surface is 30, the level is one and so on it goes until level nine. Now here the code to display our variables on the LCD are shown. We print current level with the C level variable and the level variable 
with the level current target distance. This is the check keypad function, which is used to scan for any input by from the user, which is given on the keypad. Here we also set the level uh, to convert the target instance to a to a variable which is named level. The level is in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the project media here. You can see two tanks. And on your left side, you can see the water measuring tank, and on the right side, you can see the water reservoir. Here you can also see the HCSR04 ultrasonic module, which is used to measure the sound, which is measured to measure the distance. This is the smart liquid level control system. Here you can see a keypad, which is used to take in the input from the user. This is the alarming LED and the buzzer, which turn on whenever the water level is too high or too low. This is the LCD used to display the current level and the current level and the target level. This is the switch used to turn on and or off the system and the LED shows if the system is turned on or not. Now, in a minute, I'll be sharing the real-time video of this model system. Thank you. Okay, as I have described everything that we take the input from this, uh, we take the input from this keypad, you can see that the keypad is being pressed and the current uh, target level is set. Now, this is the ultrasonic ultrasound mod, uh, module, which measures the distance from the module to the water level surface level you can see the motor in the base of the tank which removes the this motor removes the water from the measuring tank and transfers it to the reservoir these are the levels being displayed on the water measuring tank which can be used by the user to see which level the water is currently on this is the water reservoir now I'll show you by opening it. There, as you can see, the reservoir also has a motor which is used to transfer the water from the reservoir to the tank in case the water level is too low. Again, this is the control system of this whole project. I'll change this uh, target level again. And you can see in real time that the water level changes. Here you can see that currently the water level is on three and now with time it will reduce. Currently the water is approaching two from three as we have set the water level to zero so it is reducing. Now the water level is on two and subsequently it will reach one and then zero. The water level is set to one and now currently it is also one. And if now the uh, alarming LED and the buzzer are also turned on because the level current level is zero, and the water level is too low for the motor to work. So the alarming LED is turned on. Uh, thank you so much for your time. This was our project and we hope that I have been instrumental in making it understandable. Thank you.